How's it going guys, Ilyaftinan here and welcome to the A9 Rare theme of the match day, Mario Mazzucic play review. First of all, congratulations to Croatia for making it to the finals, obviously no one expected them to come this far. You know a lot of teams have went out which we did expect to come forward, but this team they deserve it, they put their heart out and uh, a lot of credit goes to this guy right here that I'm going to be reviewing. And uh, I wanted to review him because obviously he's a lot different than a lot of overpowered players that we have in this game such as Suarez, Mertens, you know, and I mean obviously not many people like Mazzucic as well I believe in this game because obviously he's not the paciest, he doesn't have the best of shooting stats, not the best of dribbling, but it did interest me a lot and I mean if you look at this card, it's his first special card in this game and I mean it does look quite good to be honest, he's going for around 110k which is decent and I mean if you look at his stats, 85 dribbling, 82 pace, 89 shooting, 82 passing and 92 physical, I think everything about this card is quite exceptional except his pace obviously we do prefer pacey striker but we do know the type of player that he is you know he's more of a target striker and then he's got himself high 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 work rate which is not the best for our forces player but it's decent and he's got himself a three star skill moves with three star weak foot and if you look further into the card i mean it does look quite exceptional on a whole and i mean if you start off by his shooting stats which are quite important i mean he's got himself 99 positioning 95 finishing 89 shot bar which is very great long shots are not the best which is a bit of shame but we do know that he's more of a box striker and his, his volleys are also quite great and uh, his passing alongside his dribbling is also very decent I mean if you look at his reactions, his ball control, his composure itself they are exceptional agility and balance are not the best you know but we do know that he's not the most agile he's not the most balanced player as well you know he's quite tall and I mean his passing is quite decent however his physicality is just exceptional you know he's got himself 89 jumping 92 stamina, 92 strength, 93 aggression and 95 heading accuracy. We do know how aggressive he is. He's got himself an unbelievable work ethic as we can see from his performances in the real matches obviously and I mean we do see that in the game as well. I mean in this card does look quite fantastic for the job that he provides and I mean he does look very 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 interesting obviously. And from the first clip right here you'll be able to see as to why he's a very good striker to have in this game as you guys can see there was his strength you know he put the ball down and then he has this ability to shield the ball which obviously the defenders they're not able to get him through and you know and he just scores as you could see there he's very good at his finishing i mean he's got himself 95 finishing with 99 positioning so that's great but the thing with this guy right here is that he's got himself a great physicality physicality was something that stood out the most for me you know i mean he's got himself 92 strength 92 stamina he, he never gets tired you know he obviously runs a lot as you can see one of the positives as well is his stamina and his strength he's very great at that i mean he's very great at physicality on the whole his jumping is also quite very you know quite decent he's 89 with the 95 heading increase he also you know wins a lot of headers i was able to win a lot of headers obviously uh some of them i wasn't able to put in but he was quite good when it comes to that and then also his finishing is quite exceptional like i said you know he has got himself 95 position finishing with 99 positioning obviously you do expect him to be at their position and uh, as you can see some of the goals were a bit lucky but he's always in those positions you know just making those movements behind the defenders and trying to you know create chances which is very nice to see his negatives are obviously his pace but i don't really i wouldn't really say that that's a negative because we do know that he's a striker striker you don't accept him to you know pass the ball and uh, you know make him to make him you know movements and just pass him the ball behind the defenders that's not the type of card that he is he's more of a target striker you know box to box player and uh, obviously he would win all the headers he would shoot the ball exceptionally well also you know shoot the ball and you know make some great 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 chances you know make some great passes so that's nice to see and then another weakness with this guy is his weak foot if you prefer that obviously three side is not the best i don't really see a problem with that but a lot of people do for me on a whole this card is great you know it's quite fun it's very different than uh, the normal you know cars that we have in this game you know they're very overpowered but this one is right you know very interesting you have to slow down a game and you know just create chances you know and just ad adapt to his ability and he is very good when it comes to his abilities and the cards uh, i think are quite similar like Lewandowski and Lukaku all of them are you know are very, more of like a target striker Lukaku is a bit pacey but you know they're all very similar when it comes to agility and balance and uh, their strength but that was it for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one